the primary blood supply of the upper limb is through the subclavian artery. The right subclavian artery arises from the brachiocephalic trunk, while the left subclavian artery arises directly from the hack of aorta. The subclavian artery gives branches like the vertebral artery, which supplies the brain, and the internal thoracic artery, which fills the chest wall before continuing to supply the upper limb. The subclavian artery passes underneath the clavicle and crosses the first rib to enter the axilla at which point it becomes the axillary artery. The axillary artery is divided into three parts based on its relation to the pectoralis minor muscle. The first part lies to the left of the pectoralis minor. The second part lies underneath the muscle, giving rise to the thoracoacromial artery and the lateral thoracic artery, while the third part lies to the right of the muscle, giving off the subscapular artery the anterior circumflex humeral artery and the posterior circumflex humeral artery. At the lower border of the teres major muscle, the axillary artery becomes the brachial artery. The brachial artery is the main artery of the arm, supplying muscles and tissues via branches such as the profunda brachii artery. It travels alongside the inner aspect of the arm and bifurcates at the level of the radial neck into the radial and ulnar arteries. The radial artery is the smaller of the two terminal branches of the brachial artery. It travels along the outer aspect of the forearm after giving off the radial recurrent artery and enters the hand to contribute to the superficial and deep palmarchis in the hand. The ulnar artery, which is the larger of the two terminal branches of the brachial artery, runs medially in the forearm. It gives rise to the anterior and posterior ulnar recurrent arteries and the common interosseous artery before forming the major contribution to the superficial palmar hack in the hand. In the hand, both the superficial and deep palmar hackies are critical for the blood supply of the hand. The superficial palma hack is primarily formed by the ulnar artery, while the deep palma hack is mainly derived from the radial artery. Both hackies give off branches that supply the fingers via the digital arteries. The venous drainage of the upper limb consists of a network of superficial and deep veins working together to return blood to the heart. The cephalic vein originates from the outer side of the hand and runs along the outer arm before draining into the axillary vein in the axilla. The basilic vein runs on the medial side of the arm. It ascends and joins the brachial veins to form the axillary vein. Deeper veins such as the radial and ulnar veins accompany their respective arteries and merge to form the brachial veins, which travel alongside the brachial artery. These deep veins along with the superficial veins drain into the axillary vein, which transitions into the subclavian vein at the first rib. Blood from the upper limb flows into the brachiocephalic vein and the superior vena cava, completing its journey back to the heart. In summary, the upper limb's blood supply is a vital network starting from the subclavian artery and branching out to the axillary, brachial, radial and ulnar arteries ultimately forming the palmar hackies that supply the hand. Why the venous drainage also follows similar pattern, especially for the deep veins.